So in the 1990s, I decided I would chase companies that were small and hunted, which is not part of here, and do work allowed me to build hardware, engines, test rocket engines, and even build rockets. So this is me and some of my early career. Sure, a lot of folks here in Nashville have trucks, right? Yeah. Sure. Anyway, so I built this rocket-powered pickup truck. That's, that thing puts out a lot of crust, by the way. And I decided I wanted, I was tired of seeing these kids playing these games and doing nothing real. So I used the Xbox controller to run that. That worked out pretty good. So, you know, what is, what is this guy get to have all the fun? This is Tony Stark, Iron Man. I'm thinking, man, I want to do that. But, you know, I looked it up on the internet. You can't really buy this. Um, it's only a movie, so don't get too excited. Uh, actually, I was on this buddy of mine that's pretty wealthy down in Miami, and he had this big 100-foot yacht, and, and he was telling me about this guy in Europe who built a rocket belt and was selling them for $120,000. And my wealthy buddy says, well, I'll never pay that. And I thought, well, that's, I figured you'd be the first one to pay that. And he said, if you could build these things for $1,000, $2,000, pick it up, buy one. And I thought, well, that's a challenge. I'm going to go home. See if I can't go to Home Depot using some PVC and fire <laughs> Can I build something that actually flies? So I had a vision to fly before sundown this day. I'm in this rocket belt. This thing is really PVC and fiberglass. Oh. And I'm thinking maybe it's a bridge too far. The sun's setting. But perhaps for the day, you know, I'm definitely too heavy to soar. And I'm thinking maybe I'll bring Sarah Pickens in and tell us what ended up having to happen to make this work. So here's Sarah. Jetpack, the first thing. 